Mm. Okay, before we continue, what what colors can we use? Uh, all kinds of colors. Ah, ah kinds, no kinds. Ah, kinds, okay. Uh, use all kinds of colors to make it look just like a real sunset scene. Mm -hmm. Let's get started. Start. Started. Excellent. Let's get, let's get started. Continue. Uh, Buddy and Jack worked together, mixing be bright reds. Okay, that's new. New vocabulary. Action. Vibrant. Perfect. Vibrant. 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 Okay. Vibrant. Again. Um, vibrant. Uh, mixing vibrant reds, orange, and yellows to create a beautiful. Sorry. Only one orange? Oranges. Yes. Oranges and yellows to create a beautiful gradient. Yes, that's correct. Groom. Okay, let's check the vocabulary pronunciation. Gradient. 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 Exactly. Gradient. 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 Mm -hmm. gradient. Okay, beautiful gradient. As they sprayed the colorful frosting on the cake. Jake's eyes. No, Jack's eyes. Ah, sorry, it is Chad. <laughs> it's not Jake. Chad's eyes sparkle mm -hmm. with wonder. Okay, this is definitely a new word. Sparkle? Yes, add the D to make it past. Sparkled. Excellent. Sparkle. Sparkle oh, in sparkle. present, sparkled in past. Sparkle. Okay. Sparkled. Mm -hmm. So what did Chad's eyes do? Chad's eyes sparkled with wonder. That's correct. Okay, so let's study number five and number six all together. Uh, the word, the first word that was mysterious was, I don't know if you probably know this word, Kinds that you pronounce for skins. Do you remember the meaning of this, Rox? Mm, it's like a. Uh, mm, can I say in Spanish? Uh huh. Tipo? Ah, perfect. Yes, you are familiar with this. Kinds is similar to type, is similar to sort. So, okay. okay, let me check the level on kinds. Ah, uh -huh, this is this is uh, A1. So let's not include it in the in the glossary. Only be careful with the pronunciation. Now, let's go to the next one more interesting. Pronunciation. Let's start with yes. Yes, Casmore. Are you there, girl? Yes, Mr. Perfect. How do you pronounce this, my lady? Sin. Ah, uh -uh. pronunciation. Sin. Yes, sin. The word is sin. Sin. Okay. Sin. A sin is a visual, like a picture, similar to a picture, something you observe. Do you understand sin? Yes. Right? What is sin in Spanish? Like a uh, escena. Exactly, my lady. That's correct. Sin escena in Spanish. What color do you think is sin? I think that is. It's a noun. It's a noun, you are correct. It's a noun. Yes. Sunset scene. 
So it's blue. Mm -hmm. Question, Jesse, do you do you like to see a sunset scene when you go to the beach? Mm, I only had gone to the beach once. Right? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. But I, I don't remember the the sunset scene. Oh. But I like to to look. Yes, look at the day mm -hmm. sunset. Look at or look, look at, to? Look to sunset. Incorrect, at. No. <laughs> Where look was at that? sunset. Exactly. Uh -huh. A specific so, sunset? Uh, no. Uh, article. No, 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 no. A specific article for specific things. Ah. Uh, Article for specific things. Oh my god. For a specific. Article for a specific. Yes, article. How do you say el, la, los, las in English? The, da. The. Exactly. So, what do you like to see? Or, no, what do you like to look look at? I like, I like to look at the sunset scene. Excellent. Much better. Much better. Very good. You have it. Jesse Solis. Do you remember the pronunciation on this word? Oh, can you participate? Yes. Hello. Hi. Can you participate? Yes. Perfect. How do you pronounce this word? Do you remember? Um... Bye, I, bye, bye, no, be brand. Incorrect. The bye previous brand? was correct. Vibrant? Vibrant, exactly. If you are talking about vibrant reds, oranges, and yellows, you are talking about the type. No? Mm, okay, yes. Therefore, what is the color that corresponds to vibrant? Or what type vibrant. of word is this? Mm. Adjective? Yes, very good. <laughs> vibrant is an adjective. Color orange. Perfect, yes. Do you usually wear vibrant colors? Uh, not really. I don't use to wear. Uh, a, a colorful clothes. Colorful clothes. Uh, use practice of vocabulary. Why don't you use to wear? I don't use to wear. Uh, I, I am not this correct. Colorful clothes. You, you are correct, but practice the vocabulary. What kind of clothes? Ah, vibrant. I don't use to. Wear vibrant, 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 colorful clothes. It's Excellent. <laughs> vibrant, colorful clothes. Very good, my lady. Good job. Karen, next word. Do you remember how do you pronounce this word? Mm, radiant? No. Yes, very good, my lady. Radiant. The gradient is a is a transitioning uh, effect on the colors. A color gradient is a transitional effect where one color transforms to another. In this area, this area is pink, and then it transitions, transitions, transitions to purple. You see, this is a gradient. This is a gradient. Hey, teacher. All right. Question. How often do you see gradients in your, around you? How often do you see gradients around you? Mm. Gradients, it's just for colors, teacher? Or? It's just for colors. It's only also used sometimes 
no, yeah, it's only for colors. Mm -hmm. Okay. I usually see gradient colors in my work because uh, the walls are paint with different colors. Are paint? Paint is in Are paint. Form? Paint. Can you repeat? <laughs> are paint? No. But paint is a, a liquid. The it, liquid is a paint. So how do you say pintados? Oh. Oh, what is the past participle of paint? Painted? No. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, because the walls are painted, yes? Yes, yes. With the great colors. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And it's specific for a gallery, a special gallery that stayed at the hotel. Nice. Very good. Okay, so that's how the gallery in the hotel, the hotel where you work. Yes, yes, teacher, and um, and also the suites they have a lot of colors. Wow. Yes. <laughs> very, very interesting. Yes. Okay, very good. Question about rocks. Next word. Oh yeah, no, sorry. Before we go with the rocks. Karen, what color is gradient? What type of word do you think this this is? It is orange. No. Incorrect, because this is a concept. This is mm. not a description. With noun? No. With what? No. Um, noun? No. With noun, are you guessing or are you sure? Guessing, because I what? consider that it's <laughs> adjective orange, but no. <laughs> if it's an adjective, it needs to describe something, but this is not describing something. In this case, the description is beautiful. Uh, okay. You see, a beautiful gradient. Beautiful is an adjective. Okay. What do adjectives describe? A noun. Exactly. Therefore, the word gradient is blue. Is blue. Exactly. That is correct. Perfect. The last one. Rocks. Let's go with the next one. Chad's eyes sparkled with wonder. I sparkle, you sparkle. It sparkles without the definition you can know the color mm, maybe it's a, a green bear of course my lady like grammatically it looks like a like a like a verb because mm -hmm. it's a conjugation mm -hmm. perfect the level let me check just the level C2, oh my god. No, but that's the second. Oh, yes, it's C2. Sparkle is actually the, the little light shine that you have in your eyes. Or when you have, for example, sparkling... Uh, Gorami, let me check that. Nah, probably better sparkling dress. Aha, look at this dress. This dress has a lot of little lights and shine from different directions, a lot of reflections. You see? Okay, teacher. Yes. That's sparkle. This is a dress with sparkle. And in anime and other shows, you see that sometimes the eyes are sparkling when you are so, so happy, you know? 
when you're like, oh my God, this is amazing, you know, she's so happy, and the eyes are sparkling. All right? Yes, teacher. Question, Rox, what makes your eyes sparkle? Mm, maybe my eyes sparkle uh, when I saw, mm -hmm. no, when I see uh, a delicious food. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Very good. Eliminate, ah, because food is not countable. Delicious food. Okay. Uh -huh. When I see delicious food. Yes, teacher, I repeat. Yes, please. Please, please, uh, please. My eyes sparkle uh, when I see delicious food. Very good. Me too. I get sparkling eyes a lot. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Number six, Karen. One, two, three, action. Yes, teacher. Um, next, body notice a little girl with bright eyes and a shine smile. She was holding her mother's hand tightly. Hello, what's your name, sweetie? Body asked, gentle. My name is Lily, she whispered. I'm five years old and I had a heart transplant. Hmm, what kind of transplant did she have? Heart, heart. Yes, very <laughs> good. Uh -huh. Thank you. I'm five years old and had a heart transplant. Uh, excuse me, again? Here? <laughs> okay, one more time. One more time. Heart. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yes, heart. Heart. Action. I had a heart transplant. And now I'm here to make the most beautiful heart cake with my favorite colors, blue and pink. Ah, that's adorable. Question. <laughs> <laughs> Number one, the first word is bright. Do you know what is bright, Karen? It's like, it's like shine. Or... Uh-huh, shiny. Shiny, yes. Mm -hmm. Bright is similar to shiny. So if it's similar to shiny, what is the color? Uh, orange. Yes, very good. Bright. Let me check the, the level. This word. Oops, what am I doing? What am I doing? Bra bright. Jesus. A2. Okay. Question, um, Karen, do you feel, do you feel, have, no, do you feel that kids have bright eyes? Mm. Yes, teacher. I feel like the kids with bright eyes also like Jesse, I don't remember <laughs> when I see a ah, rocks. delicious rocks. Yes, when I see a delicious food. <laughs> okay, perfect. Yes. <laughs> I really like. <laughs> yes, I love it. Very good. Okay, next one, Jessica Asmore. Her mother hand tightly. Tightly. Oops. The word tightly in this word, yes is the word to talk about yeah. the way she held her mother hands. First of all, do you remember what is hold? Hold, oh, yes. When, right? yes. When what? Uh, hold. Holding is when uh, she was taking her, something like that. Taking, mm -hmm. correct? Hold is similar to take. So a little kid, five years old, holds your hand, but very, very 
delicately, you know? Delicate. This is the word tightly. Tightly is similar to delicately. Okay. okay. This is going to be a very tricky color. What color do you think is the word delicately? I think that this is, is an adjective orange. It's an adjective orange. It's tricky because it looks very similar to an adjective, but it's mm. not. No, it's a verb. Uh, no, 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 it is a description, but it is not an adjective. I will tell you the color because this is a little difficult. This this topic will come in the next classes, Pinky Promise. Mm -hmm. Tightly is color purple. Purple? Oh yeah, color purple. And this will go together exactly. This is an adverb, guys. Please, please, please include it in the adverb section. Okay, so in this context, the word tightly, let me check the vocabulary. I'm, I am going to teach you adverbs in the next classes. There is no level, but we are going to include it as B1. And this is when you speak about the way you do something is different to say tight versus tightly is different to say delicate versus delicately is different to say quick versus quickly in the next lesson after the exam we are going to learn these words okay mm -hmm. question does your sister hold your hand tightly Yes, my sister. Uh, my sister holds my hand tightly. Perfect, my lady. Perfect. Similar in the same category, we have the next word gently. Gently. Okay. Which again? Let me check the level is purple because it's an adverb and it's similar to in a way that is soft not strong gently so then it says hello what's your name sweetie buddy asked gently right so for example uh rocks let's go now to rocks what do you think about the word gently? Do you do you speak gently? Who do you speak gently to? Um, who do you speak gently to? Who? Yeah. Um the a person that is uh I, I don't know how do you say the the con the contrary of outgoing or uh, uh I'm not sure. the contrary in a negative way like angry or positive no mm, negative that will be rude oh no it's, no huh? uh in positive <laughs> yeah, the contrary to shy Maybe the the person that that is shy, or the okay. someone that is shy, uh, uh, speak gently. Who is speaking gently? Uh, he speak gently. Ah, okay. So you don't speak to this person like that. Uh, it, it's oh. because my question was different. My question was different. Who do you? speak gently too ah okay mm, you know? yes maybe with my co-workers uh -huh. i i had to speak gently because 
if I don't do that, uh, they they are so rude. Aha, uh -huh. yes, it happens. Yes, it happens. Nice, nice, nice explanation. Very good. Okay, next. Let me check the level for this word. Uh, uh, no, but no spoilers. No spoilers. Oh, that's advanced. Okay. Jesse Solis. Whisper. When you whisper, you are speak like this. I am whispering in this moment. You need to whisper when everybody is sleeping. Do you understand? Yes? Mm, yes. Right? So what is the color in this case? It's a red. Of course. Very good. Whisper, whisper, whisper. It's a verb. Yes, it's Liz. Uh, have you ever whispered at church? Mm, yes, I have. I have whispered uh -huh. when I when I. When I uh, was in a short. In shorts? In short, short, short. In church. <laughs> <laughs> Why shorts? In short too. Okay. Shorts too? Well, yes. Yes, probably. <laughs> Perfect. Good job. Finally, Karen, what was the pronunciation? Hard. Ah, very good. Remember yes. once. <laughs> of course, mm. of course. Have you ever had a hard... No. Is anybody in your, in your family... No, heart... I don't know. Heart, 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 heart. How, tell me, Karen, how can I, how can I fix a broken heart? <laughs> I don't know how to fix a broken heart. Maybe when friends and alcoholic drinks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Karen. Karen and drugs and alcohol. Drugs. Okay, Karen. I was not it's expecting life. that. Oh, wow. Okay. That's that okay. is a surprise. No, it's not a good advice. No. It's... No, no, no. But but it, an advice an anyway. <laughs> exactly. Yes. That, that's super super funny. I love it. I love that tip. <laughs> Perfect. Any question? No. Not the chair. Super cool. No teacher. Excellent. Jesse? Yes, yes, yes. Are you? What? You sound similar to your brother. What's up? Oh my god. That was super creepy. Is there? Is, there, is your brother? Yeah. There. Yes. It's oh. here. Say hello to him, okay? Say hello. Say hello. Uh -huh. Hello, how are you? Hello, brother. Nice to hear you. Uh, I'm, I'm happy to hear you too. Excellent. <laughs> Very nice. Sorry for All right. <laughs> very good. Very, very good. Let's go now with number seven. Help us, Jesse Casmore. Um, body's hurt, melted. Mm, what? What happened to body? Body's. Uh huh. What happened to body? 
Bodies hurt. Uh -huh. What is the name of the organ in our body? Organ? Yeah, the, the... organ that is in control of the blood. Yes, the... the heart. Again, similar to Karen. Pay attention, yes. We are practicing this word. Heart? Aha, heart. Heart. Not heart. That doesn't exist. Heart. Action. What is heart? What is heart meant? It? Correct. That's a wonderful idea, Lily. Let's make your heart cake extra special. Extra special? Yes. Together, Buddy and Lily selected blue and pink frosting. Mm -hmm. Lily carefully fill it in the gaps on her cake. Again, what did Lily do? Lily carefully, Lily carefully fill it in the gaps. Mm. What is the best of fill? Fill it. Mm. If the verb ends in L, fill. how does ED sound? Filled. Yes. Filled. 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 So, Lily, caref caref Lily carefully filled in the gaps yeah. on her cake. Correct. Adding her heart shape it. Sprinkle. Again, shaping past. Shape it. Mm. Shape and P. Mm, shape. Exactly. Shape it. Sprinkle. Sprinkle. Oh, shapes. Perfect. Mm. So adding what? One more time. Adding heart shape. Mm -hmm. Sprinkles. Yes. And a, sp a spark link. Mm -hmm. It will light it. Mm. What is the name of these shiny particles? Shiny particles. Glitter? Glitter? Yes, no, the other. Glitter? Glitter, exactly. Glitter. Mm -hmm. Body guided her, helping her. Is ah, no, one more time. Now go back. One more time. And what? what? Lily careful to did. Oh my god. <laughs> Lily carefully filled in the gaps of her cake, adding heart shaped sprinkles and sparkling edible litter. Yes. Body, body guided her, helping her steady her tiny hands. What kind of hands? Her tiny hands. Mm. What is similar tiny to me? Exactly. Tiny. Tiny hands. Tiny hands. So how did Buddy guide her? What? How did Buddy guide her? How? Buddy guide her? Guiding helping us? her get it. Uh -huh. Buddy guided her. Helping her steady her tiny hands. Yes. Oh, yes. My. Very good. <laughs> that was a difficult paragraph, right? Yes. I think. <laughs> you did well. You did very, very mm. well. Okay. Okay. Let's go over here. Buddy's heart melted. New verb, new word. Oh, spoiler alert. This is a verb. And this is the retir in English. Take a note. Okay. Melt. The retir. B2. Jesus. So question. 
Jessica's more. How can I avoid my ice cream to melt in this temperature? Mm. Maybe you I you need to eat it so fast. <laughs> okay. Or it doesn't need it. It need doesn't work. Mm, or it will not melt it. Mm, what is the pronunciation again? Mm, melt it. Melt, not melt. Melt it. Yes, eliminate it. Complete. Melt. So you need to eat it so fast, mm -hmm. or it won't melt. It won't what? Melt. Melt, exactly, again. You need to eat it so fast or it won't melt. Perfect, much better. Next, rocks. Are you familiar with the word frosting? Not the chair. Do you bake cakes or yes. sweets? Well, yes. the frosting is this, this sweet that comes in different tastes and colors in cakes. It's not white cream. This is different. And when you put air in the mix? Aha, correct. Uh, okay. You put air in the mix and there are different colors. Okay. Question. Do you prefer frosting or wiped cream? Mm, maybe I prefer frosting because it's a little more healthy. Ah, okay. Very nice. Yes. Very good. Now, correct question. What color is it? Mm, maybe orange? Orange, incorrect, because this is the, literally the name of the product. Ah, uh, the product? Ah, uh, uh, blue? Of course, very good. This is color blue, and this is two, this is the name. Okay. Mm -hmm. Perfect rocks, good. Next, Karen. Lily carefully filled in the gaps. Okay, a gap is uh, space for example gap between gap between teeth <laughs> mm, okay, this person has a gap between teeth okay you see in the in the British underground There is a, a, a sign mm -hmm. that says find the gap. It means it's similar to say, please re, uh, take a step, uh, like respect the space between the train and, and you. Mm, okay. Mind the gap. It's like the line, not the chart. Like the line, the, uh -huh. the, the space. Oh, yes, the space, okay. The space between the line and the and the train that's mm -hmm. the goal that's called the gap okay so question do you do you color no you don't color you do you do you feel in the gaps when you make a cake mm. Yes, teacher. Sometimes I help to my mother or decorate a cake, for example, okay. mm -hmm. and I fill it the gaps. 
Ok, are you talking in past or in present? Uh, past. So, what is the past to feel? Guilt. Yes. Important. Oh, something we forgot, my lady. When you talk about feel and you talk about color, the word feeling is together. Guilt in? in to, aha, exactly. Okay. Uh -huh. We feel in the gaps. Yes, very good. Mm -hmm. Fill in the gaps. What word, what level is, no, what color is gap? Um, it's a noun, blue. Totally, yes. Very good. It's a noun, blue. And fill in, Karen? I don't know that it's a blue. No, because you said, I fill in the gaps. I feel in, you feel in, he feel in, feels in, she feels in. Mm, no, it's not the same like another pulpo. No, time expression. No. In, you are not associating utility. If I say I go, you go, she goes, what is go? Um, if. Verbo. Ah, uh -huh, exactly. Verb. It's a verb. Uh -huh. An English verb. So I fill in, you fill in, she fills in. It's a verb. Exactly. You see, it's a associated utility. Yes. Okay. Right. But it's it's together or just in this case. And it's field. together. Uh, okay. Uh -huh. Phrasal verbs. Uh, okay. Okay. Got it. Got it. The famous and terrific phrasal yes. verbs. Mm -hmm. There you go. Let's practice feeling. Uh, yes, Solis. Do you fill in the gaps? No. Do you fill in a job application when you see your candidates? I feel. Can you repeat the question? <laughs> yes. Do you fill in a job application when you see your candidates? But I don't understand what I feel. Uh, okay. If I. And I don't understand. <laughs> okay. So when you're talking about, about color, you fill in the gaps, no? You're coloring and you fill in the gaps. Uh, yes. All the, the right. white blanks, you fill it. Mm -hmm. You fill it in. When you have a job application, you have name, Luis Fernando Perez. Yes. Job, English teacher. Salary, a million pesos. No? So I am filling in the, uh, the, the, the information. Yes. Uh -huh. Do you fill in job applications when you see your candidates or formularies? Ah, okay. Yes, I, I, I see all the fill in formulae, uh, formulae. <laughs> no, oh, but again, fill in is a verb. So I see the I fill in, uh, eliminate C. Okay, I, but the question is if I see like all the information that I feel mm -hmm. feel in. If you feel in. Ah, when I yes. when I yes when I okay. No 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 ah, no, no, okay. no. When you look for a job, no, for your applicants, like do you fill in the job applications camera. for them? Ah, uh, okay. Mm, for them. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. No, not really. <laughs> Excellent. Complete. Uh, yes, I don't know how to say. I I don't mm -hmm. fill in mm -hmm. the job application of my candidates. Perfect. They do it. Yes, right. That's correct. Very good. That's it, guys.
there you have it. Now, spoilers alert, Sprinkles. Sprinkles is brillitos. Sprinkles is color blue. Edible. Edible comestible. Orange. Glitter. Similar to Spanish. Diamantina. Color blue. And tiny, you know what is tiny. Similar to mini. Who can tell me the color in this case? Orange. Orange. Very good, my lady. This is it for today. Do you have any question? No, teacher. Yeah. No, teacher. Awesome. I have to run, but I will see you tomorrow with the video. Tomorrow is only audio practice, pronunciation, and formulas. Okay? Let's see ourselves tomorrow. Yes, teacher. Okay. Tomorrow. Bye. Good night. Have a good night. See you later, guys. See you. Bye. 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 See you later.